Welcome to the channel everybody and thank you for joining me today. We are playing Terraria and this is the legendary run episode number 14 and as you can see if we take a look at our gear it's all fiery. Everything is on fire. Uh, last episode we made a successful run for Hellstone and a furnace so most importantly this was probably one of the harder things to get this furnace. I died several times making the trip across the bottom of hell to get over here. Uh, let's see, this is where we finally located it. It was right here on this spot where we took out the roof there. But uh, I had to make a little bit of a bridge. I started a bridge here. Now, while we were down here, I did accidentally spawn the wall of flesh. In case you guys missed that, we died, of course. But um, why well, I, I figure we'll still try the same strategy on it. We're getting a couple bosses ahead of ourselves here, but uh, I'm just thinking ahead. We'll probably try the same strategy where I'll just complete a, you know, a nice long bridge. The cool thing is like half the map or at least a quarter of the map is already covered for us here, you know? So that's really handy. I'm not used to having such an easy underground hell bridge for the uh, wall of flesh. But anyway, so today's goal is to reach the surface again. I think we definitely need to get up there, see what's going on, find some sky islands if possible, and maybe set up some uh, homes up there. I'm going to go down to the bottom or mm, that's boreal wood. I actually kind of want to save that for building. I don't think I have a lot of other woods right now. Well, we have some a stack of ash wood. So we're going to take that to the surface. Hopefully build a couple little rooms so that we can get a teleporter up there. Because I have a forest pylon here in my piggy bank. I don't know if there's forests up there, but I want to give that a shot. So uh, what I'd like to do is I think I'm going to teleport over to the snow biome over here. Which puts us uh, quite a bit farther to the right than where we initially came up to the surface, which was in a bad crimson biome. So I'm hoping if we come up here, I'm gonna try and make just a vertical shot straight up from where I died, straight up. And we'll see what kind of biome we come out into. <laughs> now, of course, you won't have to stick around for the boring parts, but I'll just show you my method. I think you guys have pretty much seen this before. I did set this up so that uh, any lava that drops down will hopefully, you know, not go into the house here. So let me actually come out this way. We come up here. We don't have to worry about the lava. I can leave that sealed off. That's good. We can take on this silly Viking. What are you doing, Mr. Viking? I'm a lot more confident with these giant uh, fiery sword I've got here. So I'm going to take all my potions, which does include an obsidian skin, just in case we run into more lava here. And let's get up to the top. Now it is a lot easier if we start laying down some rope. Problem with that is we, we might end up wasting our time a little bit with that, just because if lava, if we had, do happen to dig into some lava it's going to drip down and rip out every one of those ropes we place but it is probably the quickest way to get up there as opposed to trying to like use my grappling hook all the way up this this distance here so we'll do it even though it might be a little bit futile yeah it looks like we are encountering a lot of slush here which is annoying but actually makes going a little bit quicker all right so we've made it into a cavern I like to try and keep a straight shot, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and continue this rope. This will allow me to climb the cavern without having to encounter as many enemies, and it will also keep me in line. So this, this chute that we're digging out here will tr hopefully stay aligned. We can just fall straight, or well, we can just climb the rope straight up once we're finished, and fall back down it once we want to leave the surface. Okay, we got man eaters on both sides of us. Ooh, they do not last long against this sword, though. It's almost like the sword was designed for these man-eaters. Come on, bro. I see you trying to get me. He's trying to make his move. He wants to. I think there's a chest to the right there, yeah. Let's go break into that, see what we got. Ooh, this might be a trap chest. I'm gonna look below i don't think so all right let's check it out damn it oh my god it was the explosives were up here though uh, i was nervous because it was a gold chest inside of one of those uh gold brick houses normally those are in a different kind of chest 
But what I figured out is the only kind of trap chest that exists is the gold trap chest. So if you see one in this color, yeah, and it seems out of place, it's probably a trap. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to that location again. Okay, well, I got that pet ski trap chest out of the way, and now I have made my way over... Uh, basically, I had to come and bypass a whole bunch of honey up here. So when I got to this point, I wanted to keep it straight, but there was this huge, massive beehive. You can kind of see it. It's like all right here. So I took these tracks, and then when I got up past the uh, corruption biome, which is right over here... I uh, slowly made my way up to this marble biome, and we're just taking a little break here because my health was hurting, so I think we're safe to keep moving on. Let's, uh, let's not stop. I really want to, when we get to the surface, I really want to build a small couple of homes because I don't want to make this trek back and forth a lot. It is not easy. It is not easy by any means. Uh, one thing I also forgot to mention, another goal of going to the surface is to try and find a meteorite or two because I know one has fallen for sure. And if we can get that, we are on to the next level of gear, basically. Some uh, pretty nice progression. Oh, what the heck? Oh, no, I thought my potion was still active. I guess I was talking too long. Went out. Oh, that stinks. We're going to have to go all the way back there. That's okay. That's the name of the game. Um, first, actually, I think I need to collect a bit more obsidian. Yeah, I think we're out of obsidian here. Let me see. Put my bat banner away. Actually, I might hold on to that for a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Um, let me go ahead and collect a little obsidian, and we're going to make our way back there. Look how close I was to the surface, though. There's the line. Oh, I was so close. But even at that level, there's still lava up there. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. Anyway, we're doing good, so I'll see you guys in one second. Oh, uh, well, oops. <laughs> I knew there was a lot of honey there, but not quite that much. Okay, so we had a little river of honey come through our house, but nobody died because of it. We didn't lose any tables or chairs, I don't think. No, no. Honey doesn't seem to damage anything, so that's good. No worries, it's just gonna pass harmlessly down below. Uh, but I'll need to go ahead and get another way out. Uh, just have to dig around it again. No worries, no worries. Yeah, it's funny though. You really gotta watch it, especially when you're building these houses underground, man. Oh my god, guys, look at this. I started to dig over to the right there, and I don't know if this guy got stuck or what, but he's standing too far from the pylon now. There are not enough villagers near that pylon to access it. I have to go all the way over there now, because this guy has stepped too far from the pylon. I think he must be stuck right there in that little hole that I... Because I was going to dig up to get out of there, and he walked through the wall and uh, got himself stuck. All right, fun and games. They're playing with me right now. Oh, yeah, look at that stupid little zoologist. And just as I suspected, he got stuck. Look at that. Look at this guy. Oh, you need some help there, bud? How about that? Did that help you? Oh, my gosh. Now, I think since the honey has uh, abated, I'm going to go ahead and we'll allow some of that to come through. Because this guy, I can't have this wall open. Apparently, he's going to walk out and act like a fool so let's just close that off there and once this honey drains through the houses oh look he's falling down now what's he doing wait a second i might have ruined his house here let's see yeah he's not assigned to that anymore missing a wall are you kidding me oh it's this part up here let's just put boom boom there we go. Okay, it should be better now. Let's see here. Come here, little zoologist. All right. Everything's better, guys. Nobody panic. All right, you guys. Here we are just near the surface. I haven't gotten there yet, but we have found what appears to be an underground crimson area. I got up here last time and died, so I'm hoping to get out to the surface this time. Let's be very careful. Got my full potions on just want to get up and out of here I have a feeling this connects with the surface and that would be kind of nice so we can looks like we might be able to fly ourselves right over the top of whatever biome this is once we get outdoors oh my god I think we're almost there guys this is it this is the exit we're outside 
Look, okay, so we have very low gravity for sure. For sure, yeah. Uh, it's not a full gravitation potion for sure, but interesting. Oh, didn't want to go down there. Oh, do not die. Should I set up in the snow biome right here? This might get corrupted, but to be honest, this is a good place, I think. I mean, we could slap down a couple houses in the snow. Well, no, we already have one in the snow, don't we? Yeah, shoot. All right, we need to find the forest biome. So let's keep heading over, over. Yeah, this is all corrupted, so this would not have been a good place for sure. Oh, I wonder if the whole surface is just corruption and uh, crimson. Oh, my God. Jesus, look at the drop off there we don't have immunity to fall damage just yet so yeah this could be bad oh here's the temple or this is the uh a pressure plate huh interesting oh here's the entrance wait this is is this the jungle temple There's a chest right here. Yeah, this is the jungle temple. Fascinating. Look at this guy. He can't get to us here. Oh my gosh. Weird. Um, I got a bunch of junk here. Let me get rid of some of this. All this crap we don't need. <laughs> Alright, well we've got one, our first uh, uh, lizard power cell, but we're not going to be able to use that for quite some time. Interesting though. At least we know where this is at. It seems to glow, almost. It's so weird looking. Alright, how's our potions? We're doing okay, let's keep moving. Get a little bit nervous here. We got lava on the surface. Lava is everywhere in the world. It's confirmed. Looking for some chests or something, but... I actually really like the low gravity. I can move really well. You can avoid all kinds of stuff. Here. Whoa! Oh no! Don't want to stick around here too long. Oh great, look at this. Luckily this sword is just a beast. How's my health potions? Eh, we got 11 left. You really need to find a jungle or something. If I have to, what I could do would be to move that snow biome that we have change that out and make it in the put it in the jungle which is right next to that and then we could put a, a home here in the snow biome on the surface that would work got all these stupid cactuses oh crap we're here at the i think this is the edge of the world maybe no it's just another desert i can't even stop to look at the map i'm afraid of dying up here Now, if this wasn't corrupted, this would be a good spot right here. Oh, no! I was just going to block myself off and heal up, and then we got hit with the stupid worm. Uh, is that a tree right there? A living wood tree that's been corrupted? Or is that... No, I think that's just part of the ground. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, let's take a look. Wow, we barely scratched the surface, really. That world... The surface is massive, and it's all corruption. Oh my god. Well, we did find the jungle temple on the surface. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I almost reached the edge, didn't I? Well, you know what that means. We're going to have to, I guess, come up here. Come up to this way. Now, break through this particular spot. Maybe a little easier to get up this way, actually. I did make a pretty handy little uh, rope ladder here. So let's try this area. Oh, crap. Hold on. I got a bunch of stuff to put away. Okay, this was the original spot where we broke the surface the first time and then died like immediately. So I haven't explored this at all, except I know it's a crimson. So we're gonna come out and just head to the left. Uh, trying to avoid as many enemies as possible out here where it's all dark. Oh boy, run right into one as soon as I say that. Yeah, so. Cactuses aren't really hurting me all that much. They sound like it. Oh my god, there's an underground, uh, what's it called? Pyramid. We should investigate this. That's crazy, though. It's not actually covered up, so interesting. Alright, let's get this stuff. Kind of a little safe position. Oh, cool! 
Oh, nice, nice, nice. I wonder if that's still helpful to us, I think. Let's see here. Okay, I've got a bunch of stuff. Let me drop off that gold that we got. Ooh. It's worth coming up here just for that, wasn't it? This. Alright, so what can we what can we put uh, what can we switch out here uh, maybe the climbing claws for now don't really need those just yet yeah kind of just only have those just because all right let's grab that let's get out of here sorry face monster you don't stand a chance I love the effect of this sword, the way it kind of explodes enemies. It's very satisfying. Oh, look at that. Because that's usually what happens to us. <laughs> that's what what that's what in my body is subjected to. It's nice to subject the enemies to the same. Oh, what is that? Did I miss something? I thought that was like a somebody wrapped up or something. I don't know what I thought it was. Oh my goodness. Lava potion is still strong. City and Potion has two minutes, so we're good here. This is a crazy little biome with all this lava here. I love this. Look at how fast we can move with this flying carpet now. This is the way to go. Oh, I wish I had had this down in hell when I was looking for those buildings. That would have made a huge, huge difference. Okay, it seems like the world up on the surface is mainly crimson and uh, corruption, which is uh, sucky, but hey, it's uh, not surprising. This is the uh, most challenging seed known to man, so I'm not surprised by that. Oh boy, if we could just find like one little patch of uh, decent biome up here. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That snow biome might be their best bet, to be honest. Hoping we find a little patch of forest, though. Towards the edge of the world. Oh my god. Man, can't stop for a second, can you? Worried about fall damage at this point. Oh! oh didn't mean to go in there. Oh, Jesus. Get the whole world chasing after me here. Dang it! Oh, come on! One hit off that guy and we that creamed us. Ooh, boy. Let's see here. We probably got right to the edge of the world there and then died. Uh, take a look at the map here. Oh, so frustrating. And you know what I'm realizing, too? It's never going to get lighter out there. It's always going to be nighttime because of this. Uh, we didn't get as close as I thought. That's too big. I got a lot closer over here. But, man, this is all crimson here, guys. Literally. This all crimson. The whole world. The only thing I found was this little patch here which is snow although there is crimson here so i don't know if it's truly corrupted we might get away with it building up here i don't know i don't know i haven't tried it obviously but um we would have to move this one we would need to move these guys over to the forest which isn't totally un you know doable in fact i might go ahead make that change i like this pharaoh's mask and the robe i actually want to make a mannequin just for that uh, anyway yeah we might do that. I'm going to move those guys, I think, to their own little jungle house. Well, guys, I got so sick of trying to get to the surface uh, that I've decided to give up on that for now. And I want to take on the uh, brain here again. I went ahead and crafted up another brain summoning item because we seem to do our best when I can just summon it here in the arena. I don't have to run over there and then try and run back while the boss is chasing me. So I'm going to summon this guy up and we are going to hopefully take on and defeat the boss although i don't know we'll see we are upgraded since the last time i tried him like four or five times and died every single one Ugh, i gotta stop fighting these enemies because they will eventually just overwhelm me all right let's uh let's do it pick up potions seems to disappear for a brief time. It's unusual. It's not part of his normal pattern. I assume that's like part of the legendary run here. Oh my god, come on. 
See what happens? I start talking and I immediately screw up. Well, didn't do that well, although I have a feeling if I concentrate a little bit more, we can probably get that fight completed. Uh, it's not the worst fight in the world, and I think we are doing some serious damage to that guy now with our new outfit and the weapons we've got. What I have to do is I got to spend more time up there, get the uh, get more of these vertebrae. We got tons of the vicious powders, so it's not an issue. I think I'll probably spend some time farming up a bunch of these so I can just do that fight over and over and over again until I finally defeat them. Because at this point, I think it's doable. I mean, the only other thing to do is to get back up to the surface and search for a meteorite, which I know is up there somewhere. We just didn't encounter it while on our journeys. But uh, uh, as you can see, I did move one of the houses. We've got a house over here in the jungle now. Uh, the frozen biome is still there. It's not active, but I got to move one of those guys. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to try and build a house on the surface, probably right here. I'll see how that goes, but unfortunately it's all going to have to wait for next episode guys, because we have reached the end of this one. I really appreciate you guys stopping by, spending some time with me. If you've made it this far, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and check the description of the video for my Twitter and discord links. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the next episode.